Is your knowledge of Egyptian history limited to Brendan Fraser movies and a hit bangle song? If so, don't worry, I'm here to help. Here's more than 3,000 years of ancient history in less time than it takes to microwave a burrito. Hit it. It all starts with the Nile. Since you can't drink a tall glass of sand, people figure out that they should probably start hanging around this river thing in about 7,000 BCE. For the next 4,000 years, people get really good at farming, and then eventually two independent kingdoms pop up in Upper and Lower Egypt. Except, whoops, Upper Egypt is on the bottom and Lower Egypt is on the top because the Nile flows north. Anyway, both of these kingdoms are united by the pharaoh Narmer around 3100 BCE, and it's also the advent of ancient emojis, aka hieroglyphs. Thanks, Egypt. Things really get cooking during the Old Kingdom around 2700 BCE. The capital is Memphis. No, not that one. That one. And we get some of the world's best selfie spots, like the Great Pyramid here and the Sphinx. Many of the major Egyptian gods also arrive on the scene, and there is a huge run on gauze bandages because Egyptians are now mummifying everything. But by around 2200 BCE, Egypt falls into the first of three intermediate periods, or as Egyptologists refer to it, a total <laughs> show. But don't worry, it all works out. Welcome to the Middle Kingdom. Order is restored, sort of. The capital moves around a bit, ends up in Thebes, which becomes Luxor, which is why we have a pyramid in Las Vegas. Foreign invaders drop by to spice things up a little bit, but by around 1500 BCE, we are at the shining golden age of Egypt. That's right, it's the New Kingdom, baby. This is the age of rock star rulers. We're talking Hatshepsut, Tutmos, Akhenaten, Nefertiti, Chad. I don't think Chad was a pharaoh. King Tut, Ramses II, all your favorite pharaohs are here. Anyway, they build lots of cool stuff. Life is great. Egypt becomes an international power. Then it all gets funky. By 664 BCE, we're into something called the Late Period, and that's when the tombs we're excavating tonight were built. It's a messy time. The Persians are like, hey, maybe we should rule Egypt. And then the Greeks are all, that looks like fun, maybe we should get in on that, which they totally do when Alexander the Great invades. He ushers in the Ptolemaic dynasties. Skip ahead, skip ahead, there's a bunch of those. The last of the Ptolemies is Cleopatra, and I think we all remember that, well, things didn't end very well for her. And in 30 BCE, Egypt falls to Rome. Whew. So there you have it, a very incomplete version of Egyptian history with new finds being made all the time. Hey, your burrito's ready.